Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arnold. I talk about actuarial topics in my channel a lot and as some of you might be still in uni or you're early in your career and you're figuring out what you want to do, having the international mobility in your career is quite important for you. A job that allows you to travel is, is a big plus and you really want to find out whether an actuarial career can help you fulfill the dream of traveling around the world, living in many different places. And so in today's video, we'll be talking all about the international mobility of an actuary. In my three short years working in the company currently working in right now, I've already seen many colleagues and people who are in actuarial backgrounds getting new jobs from all these exciting places like Tokyo, Singapore, uh, Switzerland, South Africa, Canada, and of course the United States. And I've also seen many rotatees and people getting jobs from all those places to the UK. So there's definitely in international mobility as an actuary. And another thing that I want to talk about is the supply and demand of actuaries. So in many places, there's a big demand in actuarial work. For example, they need to they need actuaries to uh, look at their insurance product. They need actuaries to look at the reserves. But in many of these places, there aren't a good supply of qualified actuaries. And when you're qualified in one of the big uh, actuarial organizations, such as the IFOA in the UK, or any, any institutions that follows the IFOA curriculum, or SOA and CAS in the US, literally most regional actuarial societies will have some sort of mutual recognition towards your qualification, which means that your qualification in the UK can be brought to Australia, to New Zealand, to any other places that has mutual recognition with the UK qualification and you'll be treated with the same regard as a local actuary. I'll share with you three tips that you can use in order to maximize your chances of getting that overseas job. So the first tip is to express your interest from within. Many countries operate in multiple locations in the globe and their teams are actually not operating in silo but often they talk together, they work with each other. So for example, in my company, I have to constantly work with people from Zurich, from Canada and from other different locations. And through that, you establish a working relationship with the team in that place. And the actuarial profession is kind of fluid. There's a lot of turnover within the company. So within a given year, there's always going to be at least one or two hirings in the sort of job level that you're looking at. And in be in this happens, you can always express from within your interests. You can tell your manager that you want to have a change in environment. You can speak to the team that you work with that you really want to go. For example, if you want to go to Australia, you can probably reach out for them for, for virtual coffee and talk about your work, talk about their work. And when there's an opening, you can always express interest. Most companies, when they hire, they like to hire from within first because the HR resources that they have to put in in order to hire from within is a lot less expensive compared to if they have to hire ex from external. In many cases, if you apply from within, they'll at least give you an interview. Press, most of us know how hard it is to actually apply from the outside. So if you're working in a multinational insurance or consulting company, definitely take advantage of that and, and apply from within. So the second tip is to get in touch with, with a recruiter that specializes in relocating into the location of your choice. There are loads of recruiters that actually specialize in helping people find a job overseas. For example, there are recruiters that specialize in helping actresses in the UK move to Bermuda, the recruiters that specialize in helping actresses in the UK move to Southeast Asia. Recruiters come in all forms and niches. And if you just do a quick Google search, you'll find out a lot about these recruiters. Not only can they tell you about the job openings that you want to find in, in the location of your choice, but they can also give you salary data to benchmark uh, your salary against the salary average of 
that location, you can get uh, data of, for example, the working hours, the working culture, uh, how fast do you get promoted in the location that you want to go to? Are there any exit opportunities and how can you come back? They'll also sort out things for you like accommodation for the first three to four months of your stay. Definitely utilize these recruiters. And even if you haven't have a relationship with one of the recruiters that specialize in a niche location, you can talk to the recruiters where you have an existing relationship with and they probably have teammates who specialize in relocating people from the UK overseas. Next time when a recruiter send you an email or a LinkedIn message, maybe consider not ignoring them and establish a relationship right now because who knows in the future, uh, in three years time, you might need the help for relocation or even finding a new job. And a third tip is probably very obvious but it's worth mentioning which is to get your qualification as soon as possible. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are high demand on qualified actuary in some of the places with low supply of them. For example, in some Southeast Asian countries, there are like less than a thousand actuaries in the whole of the country. These countries still need actuaries to help insurance company run their business. They still need actuaries to. So if you're a qualified actuary in the US or the UK, you'll probably be able to carry your credential over to the new place that you want to establish your life in. It's very important to actually be on a good track in your exams so, so that when you move, you can show to, your, to the potential employer that you're making good headway in your exams. And of course, it's even better if you're already qualified. In today's video, I talked about the international mobility of an actuary as well as three tips where you can take advantage of the international mobility of an actuary to get your overseas job. If you find this useful, please give me a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media at underscore Arnold Ho in Instagram and Twitter. If you have any questions or you want me to do a specific topic, please feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section down below. And if you have a longer question, you can send me an email. The email address is in the description box down below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.